Hi friends, uh, last session we discussed about uh, simplex method under the iterative improvement. Uh, today we are going to discuss uh, another problem under the category of iterative improvement. Uh, that's what it is called as maximum flow problem. Uh, here maximum flow problem we are going to discuss about uh, Ford uh, Fulkerson mechanism under the maximum flow problem. Uh, uh, whether uh, Mm, are you all aware about that what is mean by flow? Flow means uh, the rate at which the material flow between two different mm, objects. Uh, so directly we go to the problem. So under that uh, you need to understand what is mean by a flow network. Uh, so here we are going to use a uh, directed weighted graph, a set of vertex as well as edges. Uh, here we are going to travel from source to sink. Uh, here source stands for S. Similarly sink stands for uh, T. So, uh, between the source and uh, sink, uh, there needs to be a capacity. Uh, among that capacity, we are going to choose the um, minimum capacity value. That's what it is called as flow. Uh, so, it may, may be asked in a two-mass question, define a flow or flow network. So, flow is defined as a, either a numerical or integer value uh, between, depend on the edges, it, uh, it connecting the two nodes. Uh, our vertex and the capacity uh, needs to be satisfies the condition it needs to be greater than or equal to zero uh, so because of the reason uh, at least there needs to be a connectivity uh, between the two vertex that's what it is called as uh, zero less than or equal to x i j less than or equal to c i j so consider the uh, following graph uh, so here this one is called as yes this one is t so there are various feasible flow from source to sink so s to t so that's what it is called as s to then t so similarly s 3 t so similarly s 1 then 4 then t these are all various feasible flow we are going to consider all the feasible flow and we are going to uh, calculate the maximum flow for this particular graph okay so next we are going to directly go to the problem so and this one is also a repeated Anna University question okay so in your question paper uh, you might be answer <coughs> so how will you compute the maximum flow for the following graph using Ford Fulkerson algorithm okay so the consider the following graph okay so then source then sink then T so the weighted vertex are 7, 8, then 3, then 5, then 2, then 3, 4, 6. Okay. So, these are all the feasible flow from source to C. Starts from source. Okay. So, then yes. Then 2. Okay. So, then 3. So, then 6. Similarly, T. So, then yes. 8. Then 3. Then T. So, similarly, yes. 7. So, then 5. So, so then t so before starting the problem uh, you need to be clear in two things the first one is capacity so then second one is flow so these values are normally called as capacity between them. for example this 7 is considered as the capacity between this source to the node 3 so similarly so this node 3 to t the capacity value is going to be 5 so but once we are going to calculate from source to sink, we need to consider this node also. So we need to consider the capacity, so 7 as well as 5. Okay, so let's start the problem. So the solution is, so first feasible path, we are going to consider the first feasible path from source to 2, okay, so then 2 to 4, okay, so then 4 to T, okay. So then source to 2, then 2 to 4, then 4 to t. This is the first feasible path. So, so we are having the capacity 8, 4 as well as 6. So among this 8, 4, 6, we are going to uh, find out the minimum value. That's what it is called as minimum of 8, 4, 6. So among this 8, 4, 6, 4 is the minimum value. This 4 is considered as the minimum flow for this feasible path s yes, to 4 as well as t okay so first consider this 4 as the minimum flow okay so then next one okay so mark this okay so just darken this path 
this is the first visible point. Then, so this 4 is the minimum flow value, so then bar, so actual capacity is going to be 8. Similarly, so the next one is that 4 is the minimum flow for this particular path, then 4 is the actual capacity between these two vertex. Okay, so similarly, so 6, 4 is the minimum flow value, okay, so then 6 is the actual capacity. Okay, so that's what you are represented as 4 bar 8, similarly 4 bar 4, then 4 bar 6. Then we are going to represent, then we are going to differentiate this path. Okay, so one is called as forward, so then second one is called as backward. Okay, so forward as well as backward. Okay, so in this forward as well as backward, okay, so forward, so we are going to so consider this formula okay so actual capacity minus so the minimum flow value that's the actual capacity okay so in the forward okay so keep in mind okay so actual capacity okay so minus the actual flow that's what it is called as okay so we consider the minimum flow value okay so look at this graph you will uh, easily understand this is the forward path between the source to the node 2 so here we are represented as 4 how this 4 is uh, written here means okay so this actual capacity is 8 this was the problem okay so in problem the actual capacity between these two nodes is 8 okay so 8 okay so forward the capacity actual capacity that is going to be 8 minus the minimum okay so flow value for the particular path is 4 so 8 minus 4 okay so here we return as the value 4 okay so similarly from 2 to 4 okay so from 2 to 4 okay so from 2 to 4 the actual uh, the capacity value is going to be 4 so here already we are having okay so the capacity is 4 the minimum value minimum flow is also 4 so it going to be zero yeah okay so it going to be zero okay so uh, we are not supposed to mention any flow value here so we are going to uh, just cut this okay so just cut this forward h so next consider the next connecting path 4 to t okay so in the 4 to t the actual capacity is going to be 6 the minimum flow value is going to be 4 okay so then 4 minus sorry 8 minus 4 8 minus 6 is going to be 2 okay so sorry so the value is 6 uh, actual capacity okay so the flow value is going to be 4 so the value is going to be 2 this is the forward path okay so similarly backward path we are going to write the actual minimum flow that's what this 4 okay so write down this backward path is going to be 4 so similarly this backward path is going to be 4 this backward path is going to be 4 okay so here we are having one forward path but okay so this one doesn't contain any forward path because the flow value is zero this one is going to be two okay so we are going uh, step one is completed next we move on to that okay so after completing the step one okay so the first minimum flow value is going to be four okay write down the four as maximum flow which is equal to four okay so in this stage we are finishing the step one so next one we are proceeding the next feasible path uh, so s3 then t okay so here s3 t we are having the capacity 7 as well as 5 okay 7 as well as 5 so minimum of 7 comma 5 okay so in this minimum flow is going to be from 7 and 5 going to be 5 uh, so uh, the one is written as 5 bar 7 okay so then 5 bar 5 okay so repeat the same step in the forward edge as well as backward edge okay so forward edge is going to be the capacity minus the minimum flow value is going to be 5. So similarly backward edge, uh, write the actual uh, minimum flow value which is going to be 5. Okay. Uh, so uh, so look at this, you will, you will have some clear idea. So in the forward edge, it going to be, okay. Uh, so 7 minus 5 is going to be 2. So similarly 5 minus 5 is going to be 0. So we are going to cut this path. So this backward edge is, uh, so we are going to write the uh, actual minimum flow which is going to be 5 as well as 5. Okay. So now the graph will be look like this. Then the maximum flow is going to be. Uh, we are going to carry out the carry from the previous step and the first step. Uh, so we find out the maximum flow is going to be four. 
okay so then in this step uh, we calculated 5 plus 4 okay so the value is going to be 5 plus 4 9 then next move on to the next feasible path so it going to be uh, so yes then 2 then t okay so yes 2 then t so likewise same uh, so so actual flow then and capacity 3 bar 4 then we are going to write in the 3 bar 3 okay so 3 bar so in these steps uh, we need to consider the previous in the step one uh, so we finish up with this the value four in the step one we finish up with the value four we need to uh, add this uh, minimum flow value also then it going to be four plus three which is equal to seven uh, so this uh, in this step we don't have any problem okay so this is the first backward path but this s22 in previous step also we are having on backward path we need to add the and that uh, minimum flow value also uh, already we are having four here we are having that uh, actual minimum flow is going to be three so then four plus three is going to be seven uh, in the forward path uh, you are all known that it going to be four minus three is going to be one so here three minus three is going to be zero we are going to cut the value so similarly in the previous step uh, we had the maximum flow value is going to be nine now in this step we are having the value three so nine plus three is going to be twelve Okay. So similarly, we are going to move on to that uh, last feasible path. Yes, one, four. Okay. So then t. Uh, so out of it, uh, so two, three, two. The minimum is going to be two. Uh, so we are going to write like this: two bar two. So similarly, two bar three. So similarly, two bar two. So also, we are going to calculate the forward edge as well as backward edge. Okay. So in the backward edge, likewise here already we are having the backward edge is going to be four. So here we are having the minimum flow is going to be 4 plus 2 is going to be 6. Uh, this step we don't have any forward value. So it going to be already 2. So similarly 1 to yes we don't have any forward edge. It going to be 2. So uh, in the forward edge from yes to 1. Uh, so actually it having the capacity 2. So it going to be 2 minus 2 is going to be 0. So we are going to cut the value. So here we are having 3 minus 2. So the value is going to be 1. So similarly 4 to t. So the value is 2 minus 2 is going to be 0. So we are going to cut this forward path also. So um, uh, we are completed this feasible path also. So the maximum flow in the previous, in the first step, uh, we uh, in the first and uh, second step, we uh, completed up to the value 9. So in the third step, we completed with the 3. So then 2. Okay. So the 9 plus 3 plus 2 is going to be, the value is going to be 40. So the final uh, graph will be, look like this. Okay. So the final graph will be, look like this. Okay. Um, so start from that from yes to 3 we don't have any proceeding path so similarly from yes to 2 we don't have any proceeding path okay so from the third feasible path okay so we don't have any path one um, uh, once you attain this step okay so we iterated all the feasible path uh, so we completed the solution so the maximum flow value is going to be 14 so thank you for watching the video